Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Come to you with a quick prediction video. Um, it is for the main event this Saturday, the 29th of August. It's part of the Queensberry Show. Um, it is the main event. It is between Daniel Dubois, who is 14 and 0, and he takes on Ricardo Snyders, who is 18 and 1. So guys, um, another week we move on to this Saturday's main event. Um, I have watched a little bit of, I've seen a lot of Daniel Dubois, but I've done a little bit of homework on Ricardo Snyders over the last day or two to see if I can get an understanding of his style, how the fight might um, it might pan out. And yeah, just all round come and give you guys a little bit of knowledge into the fight. And as I always do in these videos, I will give you a quick background into both fighters, I'll give you my keys to victory. Finally, I will give you my prediction. So, let's start off with Ricardo Snyders. As I said at the beginning of the video, Ricardo Snyders is 18 and 1. Um, quite a good skilled heavyweight. I was pretty surprised when I started watching some footage of him today. I watched his loss to Joe Jeco. I also seen his um, routine victory over the journeyman, uh, Tavarishvili. It's quite difficult to get a lot of footage of Ricardo Snyders, but with what uh, I did grab, uh, I think that I'm in a good place to kind of determine how Saturday has a good chance of going. So with Ricardo Snyders, one thing that I picked up is that he has a very good jab, Ricardo Snyders. Very compact, he keeps his style very, very neat and tight. Everything is very composed. Um, that could make it a hard fight for Daniel Dubois on Saturday because he throws a really, really good jab. Um, he carries a bit of power, not huge power for a heavyweight. I think he stopped eight out of his 18 victims. Um, but as I say, I watched the, the win over Tavares Feely. Um, he boxed really well in that fight. I think it was a fight that he was supposed to win, and he did. But you could see small, just little small bits that he is a good fighter. He's a decent fighter. Um, can he beat any of the top 25 heavyweights? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Um, he probably would have to improve. Especially when I watched the performance with Joe Jeco. It was a very good fight. I'm actually really happy I came across that fight. Um, I sat and watched a lot of that today. And at times it was a bit of a shootout. Um, Ricardo Snyders was being very aggressive. Throwing good shots. But what I did notice is that he walks on to quite a few shots. And he can't afford to walk on to probably one on Saturday. So he needs to keep that area um, of his game intact. To see him through and try and get some success in the fight. If we quickly look at Daniel Dubois in this country, I don't think I really need to touch point too much on Daniel Dubois. Do I? Probably the most exciting UK heavyweight prospect at the moment. Um, he's a he's a young lad, Daniel, but he's a big brute of a man. Um, out of his fourteen victories, he's um, knocked out thirteen of them. I believe huge puncher, but also quite good boxing ability himself, Daniel. Went back and watched the fight with Fujimoto today and Teti. Um, early knockouts, as most of Daniel Dubois' wins have came. I think it's only Kevin Johnson who has went the distance with him in a, a one-sided victory for Dubois. Um, but everyone else he seems to have steamrolled over the top of. Daniel, if we go and look at his most recent fights, I think we all know that Daniel's... Um, Danger punches his right hand, he throws a good jab. But what impressed me um, with Daniel Dubois in his most recent fights is when he's got someone hurt, he throws really good sharp combinations. For Daniel's size and frame, you wouldn't think he's got the quick hands that he's got, but when he throws combinations, he has got quick hands. Um, very quick hands, actually, for a heavyweight. What I would say as a constructive criticism to Daniel, if I remember correctly, I think it, it was maybe the Teddy fight, one just before that, he got into a bit of a shootout um, and he looked a little bit open and, you know, the more he goes up in class, that could become a sticky point in his career if he, if he doesn't correct that. But he's a kid, he's 14 and 0, he's learning all the time. Um... And I'm quite confident that he will go on to be one of the best heavyweights in the world. Um, but on to keys to victory. Um, I, this is probably the bit I'm looking forward to the most in this video, keys to victory, because I think it's very obvious what both of them have to do. Ricardo Snyders, if we start off with Ricardo's keys to victory, I think he needs to work his jab. 
He needs to work his jab and keep Daniel thinking. Don't give Daniel time to set up shots. The way that you can stop that happening is through a nice hard jab down the middle. And I think he needs to use the ring. Use the ring and try and get Daniel into the second half of the fight. And if he's still got something in his engine, push forward from there. But I would just say, use his jab. Um, take Daniel into the second half of the fight and be cautious. Daniel Dubois, Daniel's keys to victory are very simple for me. I think that he needs to entice Ricardo Snyders into a fight. If he can entice him into a fight, it opens um, Snyder's defence and Daniel throws hard combinations. The way that I think Daniel will do that is he needs to also walk Ricardo Snyder's down with a jab. Um, Ricardo Snyder's will commit if he does that. And then I think it's a matter of throwing um, hard combinations because Ricardo does seem to have a little bit of a leak of defence, but it becomes leaky when it gets two and three shots thrown at him. So very important to remember that. Guys, on to prediction time. Um, in my mind, there's only one winner, um, and that's Daniel Dubois. What I would say, though, um, is that Ricardo Snyders could make this fight very tricky. If Ricardo can work that jab and use the ring, you know, it, it could take Daniel in at the second half of the fight. It, it, it really could and make it a hard night's work for him. Guys, my prediction for Saturday is I just see Daniel Dubois being a little bit too good. So my prediction is for Daniel Dubois to win by KO inside the first seven rounds. Um, guys, as always, Greg Doyle, Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our website, all of our social media platforms as well. Guys, I'll be back to speak to you again soon. Thank you.